Suminigashi is a Japanese water marbling technique. Suminigashi translates to floating ink. The first step is just to prepare your workspace. Um, if you're working at a kitchen table, you'll just want to protect your surface with some newsprint. Then you'll want to prepare your materials. You're going to want the Suminigashi kit that has your paper, ink, and two brushes. You'll need a tray with one inch of water. You need half a teaspoon of liquid dish soap. You're gonna to wanna to put that into three quarters cup of water. One thing I will give you advice on is just keeping your brushes separate. So you've got two brushes. One of these brushes is meant for ink. The other brush is meant for soapy water. So depending on which hand is your dominant hand, I recommend that that be the hand that you keep your ink brush in and the other hand to be for your soapy water. So once you kind of have those brushes set on the correct side, you're ready to get started. So you're gonna to wanna to take your ink brush and lead it towards the surface of the water. Keeping it perpendicular and going nice and slow and relaxed, you're going to want to take the tip of that brush and just lightly tap the surface of the water. The main thing here is, is that you're really just sort of delicately kissing the surface of the water. You don't wanna go below the surface of the water. What you're trying to do is keep the, the ink on top of the water and hence floating, floating ink. You wanna keep it floating on the surface and not dropping below. So you've done that first little tip of the brush towards the surface of the water. You're gonna take that hand back and then you'll place your soapy water brush right in the same spot that you just put your ink. Again, just lightly tapping that surface of the water and then you pull it back. This is all Suminigashi is, these two movements. So you're just going to take these two brushes and continue going back and forth, back and forth in a slow, controlled way. And that is what is going to build your marbled pattern. Once you've created a pattern that you feel like is what you wanna pull a print of, just simply place your brushes down and then pick up your paper in both hands. Holding it lightly above the surface of the water, gently lower it to meet the surface of the water. Once you feel like your paper is connected to the water and everything's smooth, you'll gently lift your paper up. At this point, you're ready to rinse it off. So if you're beside a sink, you can simply rinse it just for a few seconds underneath uh, some clean running water, just to remove any loose ink that may be left on the surface of the water. If I'm doing suminigashi and I'm not in my kitchen or close to a sink, I'll often have an additional second tray of water just to give it a good rinse afterwards. That just keeps your pattern nice and crisp. Once your paper has been rinsed, you can simply place it down on your newsprint to dry or hang it on a clothesline. Our paper is nice and thick and should dry within 30 minutes to an hour. Now, here's one of the fun parts. Um, you don't have to recreate a new composition to pull a second pattern, either on another note card or on an envelope. So if you want a matching set, this is something that I often do. I'll take the pattern that I've just created on this uh, first stationary card, and then I'll just place my envelope right on top of the water in a different area of the tray. Get playful with it, have fun and experiment. That's what a lot of this is about. There's no expectations with Sumi Nagashi, and that's probably my favorite part. With letterpress, everything is extremely calculated. We have to measure everything, it's so precise, and this is something that I've really come to as a way to relax and unwind and I don't have any pressure to create something perfect because anything you create with Sumi Nagashi is gonna be exactly the way it was meant to be. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have fun.